Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel and I am here with an update for my same pan last year, Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab created by Shelly. Her channel's name is Unapologetically Shelly and this runs from January 8th to December 8th. I am really excited about this project. I have a couple of really exciting changes, I think, to it, and I have a lot of things rolling in. So this probably is gonna be a little bit longer of a video. It is a little bit late because I am late with um, filming, but that's okay. It's going up, and um, yeah, if you'd like to see what I have planned for this project, then stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna skip over some of the prompts that I just really have no movement on, and I'm gonna start with for um, Pickle Day, which is November 14th. I brought in the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions Palette to use three times, and then I got thinking. My goal this year, this is gorgeous, and this was a gift from Deb, thank you Deb, from Debbie. My goal is to play with all of my palettes this year. I want. I have a goal to like try them all, use them all, get my fingers in them, see if I like them, do I wanna keep them? And rolling in a palette like this for three uses when I don't wear makeup every day is going to take away from that goal. So I decided instead of doing three uses, I'm gonna bring in two more palettes and do one use each. So I did one on this, this is gorgeous. It is absolutely staying in my collection. Let me swatch some of my favorites. I'm gonna swatch this shade number one, I'm gonna shade swatch shade number three, and then this middle one. Ooh, they're so good. Look at those. Pickle day. So there it is, it's beautiful. Um, I really enjoy it, I'm keeping it around. Um, I did find that I had to build it up a little bit more than some other brands, but it's not stopping me from wanna keep it. So this is sticking around. So for the other two looks, I am bringing in a couple of palettes that were given to me by friends. The first one is this Absinthe palette by BH. Jaylon found this at um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx, and I was like, yes, please. So she sent it to me. Let me get the plastic off. Sorry, I didn't realize there was plastic on this. Okay, so here is this. Oh my gosh. It is so gorgeous. You guys, I love green, so I'm really excited to play with this. I'm gonna swatch Green Fairy, Another Sip, and Elixir. These, I'm gonna swatch, I swatch these three. You guys, somebody wants to visit. Rosie, do you wanna come up here and say hi to your fans? Yeah? So I'm bringing in this Absinthe palette. There are some swatches to use one time. Hold on a minute, I gotta move it. Nope, hold on, sweetie pie, come on. Oh, you want to see your fan club? Your little tails wagging? Ugh. Say hello. <gasps> Say hi. Camera's right there. Right there. Oh, what are you looking at? It's a different perspective from up here, isn't it? Yeah, mommy's filming. You didn't want anything to do with me for the last two hours while I was putting on makeup and organizing. And now you just want to be in the limelight. Yes, she does. So this is my best friend. Her name is Rosie, if you've not seen her before. And she's our mascot. So say hi, Rosie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you down now, okay? You can go look out the window again. All right. I love you. Okay. So that is coming in for one look. And then I'm also bringing in this Hip Dot palette. I have to go with green, of course, because it's pickle day. And it's got a little sleeve on it. And here it is. This was a gift from Deb. Deb B again. Oh my gosh. Look at how gorgeous. So pretty. I'm going to swatch some of these. I'm going to swatch Cave and Limestone and Jungle. So I cannot wait to use these. So I feel like by bringing... Oh my gosh. Those are so pretty. Thank you, Deb. So I feel like by bringing these um, in to play with, I will be, you know, it will be challenging enough. Oh, I love that. Don't you just love eyeshadow swatches? It'll be challenging me for um, challenging enough for me in this project to, you know, not be rolling things out right away, but it'll also give me like not incentive in a sense, but like 
the, it'll give me, it, I'll be able to do my overall arching goal, which is to play with all my palettes, right? So if that's my goal, this is kind of how I'm going to achieve it. So that's a change. You saw that in one of my other projects. I think it was, I forgot what project it was, but I had already talked about that in there. And now, of course, she wants to play with her ball. So I'm sorry if it squeaks. I will take it away if it gets really annoying. Um, the next, I'm going to skip over another one for Black Friday. This is an item you got from a Black Friday sale or got on a super sale. Um, this wasn't an item I got on sale per se, but I did buy it. In, I did I did use points during Black Friday to buy this, so I figured this went well with this palette, or with this prompt. So I pulled in the Natasha Denona Starlet palette. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I really loved using this. But using this palette is what gave me the idea for using three different palettes. I'm like, wait a minute, I use this. I know I love it. I'm gonna swatch all of these beauties for you. Why am I using it for five looks or three looks when I used it once. I know I like it. I want to keep it around and I can use other palettes, right? So that's kind of where this idea came from is when I use that Starlet palette. So spoiler alert, it is staying and here it is in all its glory. It's so pretty. I really like it. It's like Movi Browns. So pretty. So um, I used the Starlet palette once instead of the three times and I am going to um, roll that out. I'll talk about it next in the eyes project pan. And then I decided these, I'm going to pull in other um, palettes that I got either during a Black Friday sale or on super sale. So the first one that I'm bringing in is this Lorac Pro palette in Fairy Tale Forest. I have only used this one time since I received it and I don't even remember how I liked it. Now, I really like Lorac palette, so I, I have a feeling I'll love this, but here this one is, so that's gonna get one look. And then I also brought in the Weekend Vibes Blueberry Muffin palette from BH Cosmetics, and I remember using this one time as well, but I wanna use it one more time because I don't really remember it. I'm sure I'm gonna end up keeping it, but it's so pretty. And I'm not a huge fan of blues, but lucky for me, this isn't all blues. So I can use some and not use others. You know, I do like blues, but I think my problem with them is, is sometimes they look patchy or they kind of muddy together. So I need to practice using them more. I think that's the problem. I skip another one. So for holiday, bunch of different holidays, something from the holiday season or related to any of these specific holidays. I am pulling in this MAC palette. This was a holiday palette from MAC that Jen gave to me. She decluttered this and I wanted to try it. So I decided to pull this in again for three looks, but I'm doing the same thing as the other ones. I'm bringing in two other palettes. I used this once. <sighs> This one, they have major hard pan. This is not Max usual quality. So while you're looking at these and going, but Kim, those swatches look so nice. They kind of do, but I really had to press in there. And I don't wanna have to do that when I'm doing my makeup every time. So I am going to declutter that palette. I know a bunch of teenagers at school that will be happy to get their little paws on it. And I know Jen will not mind that I'm decluttering it because she decluttered it too. But I have so many other MAC sh um, shadows that I really like. I'm so glad that she um, sent this to me though to try because now I know that I'm not going to buy any of those like, I have one other one too and I'm not a huge fan of it. It's the Whitney Houston one. It's okay, it's just not great. And MAC makes great products. Their eyeshadows are fabulous. So why do I want to use this when I have other things to use? So this is being decluttered. And I'll talk about that more in the eyes project pan. Um, so I'm going to bring in a couple of other palettes because these got gifted to me from Shelly, unapologetically Shelly, and I was so thankful. I have never tried Give Cosmetics. Oh, this one came broken but I smushed it back in there. This is an all, nope, the other one's a little shimmery, but here is, these are both neutrals. So this is called Danger Zone, and this one is Simple Kind of Life. So I'm pulling both of these in to use one time, just get a feel for them and see how I like them. I mean, I'm assuming I'm gonna keep them around, um, but I guess we'll wait and see. 
for Boxing Day. Um, this is a budget item in honor of the day presents were given to servants, tradespeople, and the poor. So I am bringing in my NYX brow pencil. This is the micro brow pencil in the shade chocolate. I really love this. When I first get my brows done, I don't need to use anything in them, but as the tint starts wearing away, I do. So I'm starting to use this again just at the front because I'm noticing that the tint on my brows is um, lightening up. So I have a goal to use this 12 times. Oh my gosh, I didn't even write down how many times I use things. Getting out my, good thing I have my little notebook. So I have used this four times. Let me write that down. Four times. And um, I really like this. I'll always have this in my collection. It's my only brow pencil. And it probably will always be my only brow pencil. So for St. Stephen's Day, um, this is a December 26th holiday in Ireland, a budget item because St. Stephen was known for his service to the poor and needy. I brought in this MAC Duo because I got this for free. So if that's not budget, I don't know what is. Um, I have a goal to use this three times, but like everything else, I'm just going to use it once. I have not used it yet. There they are. Um, I know Jalon... Um, panned one of these as her, I think baby panned that palette one, one year. It's kind of what gave me the idea to use it. I was really thinking about using it as my better together palette, but I was like, no, I want to, I wanted to use a different one. So this I'm going to use once. And then I brought in two others that, um, were budget items. I brought in my two elf quads. This one is in, uh, I love you a latte. Let me open both of these cream. Yeah. I love you a latte and sugar and cream. So I'm gonna use both of these, see if I like them enough to keep them around. The um, love you a latte is all matte. The sugar and cream does have some shimmers. So I'm curious to see what I think of those. So I will report back. For New Year's Day, pick a new item from your collection and I chose this MAC highlighter. I love this. It was a holiday item from MAC this past year and it, it's so pretty. I'm like, do I need it? No, do I need it? No. And I was like, yes, I do. Yes, I did. I, I bought the whole collection. Mine. Oh, I bought the three eyeshadows in this. Um, this is in the shade Gleamscape. I have a goal to use it five times and I've used it four. I'm not gonna have a problem getting that other use in. There it is, right there on the end. It's so pretty. I really love it. It's like a rose gold shade, but it's not super blinding, it, and it builds beautifully. It's just gorgeous. Um, skipping over another one. Okay, for Mimosa Day. Um, why did I bring in this one for Mimosa Day? I know why. <laughs> put it two and two together. Okay, I brought in this ColourPop um, cheek in the shade between the sheets. This was gifted to me from Amy. Her channel is Curly's Curiosity. She's not filming right now though. I have a goal to use it five times. I've used it too. I brought it in because I figured if you have too many mimosas, you're going to end up staying between the sheets because you're going to be passed out sleeping. So <laughs> that's how I connected that. So there you go. <laughs> it's a beautiful color. I really enjoy the ColourPop cheek products that are like this. I feel like they stay much creamier and much better than the shadows. And then last but not least for this update, you know, the stuff I had rolled in already, I brought in for a pie day, Sabon Delicate Jasmine. Um, why did I bring this in for pie day? It must have had a scent in it. It's, oh, vanilla, because there's vanilla and pie. And there was um, vanilla in this. So my goal is to get to where that dot is. Okay, so like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my camera cutting out, is that um, I don't think I'll have a problem getting that perfume out by the next update. I have a ton of perfumes that I'm rolling through, but I usually use a new one every day, so I'll spray, you know, get a couple of uses a month. So the next, okay, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about are the items that I am rolling in. And I am rolling in quite a few because I roll in, I'm gonna roll in February's prompts, March prompts of the original prompts, like the normal ones. And then she put in like those fun ones like Pickle Day, Mimosa Day, stuff like that. So I'm rolling in February and March prompts. There's a lot of them. So the first one is for Black History Month, which is in February, a product from a Black-owned makeup brand, and I'm pulling in my Pat McGrath highlighter in the shade Ven Venusian Nude. Oh, this is so beautiful. There we go. So beautiful. 
I mean, you can't deny that her packaging and her presentation is just gorgeous. And that's what that one looks like. It is so gorgeous. So I'm excited to use that. I have a five time usage goal on that. I'm also bringing in for Chinese New Year, no, for Groundhog Day, a product that you keep repeat purchasing or are doomed to pan. That is concealers for me and I'm getting off that train. I'm not buying them anymore because I don't use them. So I am bringing in this NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I want to see if this is one that I want to keep around to use under my eyes. And if it's not, I'm decluttering it because I'm not keeping concealers anymore that I can't use because I don't use concealer. I don't have blemishes. I'm very lucky. So there it is right there. I want to see how it, how it works for me under my eyes and we'll go from there. If it works, I'm going to use it five times. If not, I might still use it the five times testing it out, but we'll see. So for Chinese New Year, it is the year of the dragon, you're the rabbit, blah, blah, blah. Pick an item related to any of these or any animal. I decided to go with um, pandas or raccoons because they have like patch eyes. You know, the pandas have the patch around their eyes and the raccoons have masks. So I decided to bring in some Patchology Restoring Night Eye Gels. I really need to get through some more of my eye patches and I'm doing a really bad job of it. So I figure if I brought some into a project, then maybe I will do better. So I'm bringing these in. There are 15 pair and oh, it comes with a little spatula, yay. I'm really bad about using eye patches. So I'm gonna have to really force myself so fingers crossed, I can, and it comes with directions, like, just in case you don't know how to put an eye patch on, that's really funny. One, two, oh, you keep them on for five minutes, and then it shows you to taking them off. Oh my God, that's hysterical. <sighs> anyway, directions. Anyway, okay, for Mardi Gras, something green, gold, and or purple or something to relate it to carnivals. Well, at carnivals you wear masks. So I pulled in my Clarins Cryo Flash Cream Mask. This is only like halfway, I think this is only like halfway full. I'm not sure, it says you're supposed to have instant tightening firming and it's a glow booster. I mean, I think that I'm gonna look fabulous after using this instantly, you guys, instant tightening and firming. So I'm gonna be like <laughs> right away. And then it's, I'm gonna be glowing. You're gonna see me like, it's gonna be like beaming, okay? I know, I know that's what's gonna happen with this. So my goal is to finish it. You sense my sarcasm? I love when pro like skincare products put all this stuff on them and it's like, oh, you're gonna be a new person. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> For Valentine's Day, a red item, a pink item, heart-shaped or loved theme or any way you can relate it to the theme. While I pulled in my Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk, <laughs> um, Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Shadow. And I am pulling this in to use five times. It's really pretty. And I wanted to bring it into a, a project because, oh, I just swatched that over the concealer. Well, there you go. That's what it looks like over like a cream base. And then that's it on its own. But I wanted to bring it in and get some use out of it because if I don't, it's gonna go bad. And it was expensive. Um, I got this gifted to me from Shelly and I thought it was such a generous gift and I don't want it to go bad before I use it. I really like it. So there you go. Okay, now on to the fun prompts from February. Pizza day. I do <laughs> This is so inappropriate for me. Um, because I have students that might watch my channel, but whatever. I am bringing in this Hemp's lotion in the scent pomegranate, and I'm going to keep it at my desk at school. The reason I put Hemp's is because there's a pot leaf on it, and rumor is that when you're smoking pot, you get really hungry. And so I associated that with pizza for pizza day. Does that work? <laughs> so anyway, rolling in this Hemp's lotion to finish. Um, I'm going to put it right in my lippy bag because... I bring this everywhere I go so that I can rotate through my lippies. Um, I don't want to forget that. For pancake day, I am pulling in my Ellis Brooklyn Salt Perfume and I want to, it's brand new and I want to get to the top of the label. I want to make sure I get use out of this before I, um, I want to get use out of it. I just want to get use out of it. It's brand new. And I thought pancakes have salt in them. Okay. 
Margarita Day, I'm bringing in my Tropico Highlighter. It's called Fruit Lighter because it's in bright pink packaging and all the margaritas I drank, I loved them pink. So there we go, it's so beautiful. This is from Cleona and I wish I had the Pattaya one but I only ended up buying this Tropical one and I do wear it as a highlighter. I mean, it's gorgeous. You can see on my hand the shift. It goes from like gold and it's got even a little bit of a green tint and some pink. It's gorgeous and I have not used it in a while. Again, like I said, this is my year to play so I wanna really make sure I'm playing with things. So I have a goal to use this five times. For Women's History Month, now I'm getting into the March props. Um, Women's uh, History Month is in March, so I am. It says anything from a female-owned brand. I googled, and Benefit is a women-owned brand, or a woman-owned brand, or a woman-started brand, or something. So I wanted to bring in this liner. Um, so I checked to see if it was, if it fit any of that. And this is the roller liner in the shade brown, brown brown and I wanted to bring it in because it is slightly old and I want to use it before it goes bad so there it is I have a goal to use it five times um, for spring a spring palette or any item you got last spring or a pre previous spring I got this on a shopping trip with Beverly I know all you guys are saying we need to do another video together and I'm, I'm going to talk to her about that but we have to be together first to do it and we've not spent a lot of time together we've both been really busy and we live three hours three three hours away from each other so it's a little hard but this is the essence I like to mauve it mauve it palette I haven't even used this so I have a goal to use this one time and I'm really excited to try it so we'll see how I like it um for St. Patrick's Day, a green item or a leprechaun item either gold or small I decided to bring in this um, Herbivore Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask because it's a small item and this is a mini of it. My goal is to finish it and I'm excited to try this. I've heard good things about it. For Easter, March 31st, a pastel item. I'm bringing in this MAC Single Shadow. You guys wait till you hear the name of this. It's such a tool. T-U-L-L-E. <laughs> You're such a tool. <laughs> T-O-O-L like dork. So here we go. It's beautiful. I'm really excited to use this. I got this in Vegas. Oh my god, it's so pretty. When I was with all the girls and I'm super excited. It's like a lilac color, but it almost comes off as like periwinkle, like a bluey color. So I'm really excited to see how that um, does on my lids. So yay. Well, I shouldn't be blowing in my products. That's kind of gross. And then for Barbie Day, March 9th, I am bringing in this Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. Oh, I'm going to use the shadow five times. And I'm going to bring in this Glassy Skin Balm to use five times as well because Barbie pink. It's pink. Um, and this is actually a very light blushy pink color. So I've used this before as a hydrating primer. It's lovely, but my favorite is right now my Bobbi Brown. Um face base and the ritual defeat thorn oil for my hydrating primer so I'll put this into rotation as well because I do want to get some use out of it before it gets bad and then last but not least for flower day March 20 uh, 21st I brought in are there no fun holidays for March I guess not oh Barbie day Barbie day and flower day duh okay I'm bringing in this toka perfume I'm gonna put it into an atomizer when I get done here but I'm gonna bring this in um, actually, no, I'm not because then I won't have, my goal is to get to the middle of the label. So I'm just going to do that. And there is, this is, has bergamot, pear, gardenia, and blonde woods are the scent notes. So yeah, that's the last product that I'm rolling in for this project. Whew, that's a lot of stuff, right? I'm really excited about it though. I think that I have some really nice things in and as long as I can continue to wear makeup the way I have been recently and you know roll things in roll things out and have some progress so thank you so much guys for giving me part of your day I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I will talk to you soon bye